So a little bit of a surprise draw preview coming up this week because with the French Open happening very soon, but Geneva is happening and it's actually kind of stacked for an ATP 250 event. Of course, Djokovic has decided to play, which is the main reason why we're going to break it down. But let's have a look at who's not going to be playing this event. There's actually a lot of players pulling out of this just so they can get to the French Open a little bit earlier. Diaz Acosta, he's pulled out. Jarry, of course, playing so well in Rome. He's pulled out. Lehechka's also pulled out. He's not going to be playing the French Open either due to injury. Shakori's pulled out. Tommy Paul has pulled out for the same reason as Jarry. They've both done well this week. They don't need to play. Struff has pulled out and also Thompson has withdrawn from this one. So a long withdrawal list before this tournament. Let's go have a look at who is going to be playing. All right, starting at the top of the draw, we have eight seeds in this one. Top four seeds get a buy in the first round. Novak Djokovic has come in with a wild card to get some much needed form. Heading into the French Open, he gets a buy in the first round. He'll take on the winner of Hampton or Murray in the second round. So Murray Djokovic, that could be a bit of a second round throwback. Then you've got Correa taking on Shapovalov. Winner of that will take on either Eubanks or the number six seed Grigspor in the second round. Then you got Fritz, the number three seed, gets a buy in the first round. He'll take on either a qualifier or Mickelson in the second round. Then you got two qualifiers going at it. Winner of that battle will go up against the winner of Mahach or the number eight seed Draper in the second round. So again, really surprising to see Djokovic here, but it's not going to be easy. There are some really tricky matchups potentially in the first few rounds, but you got to watch out for Djokovic. Of course, you got to watch out for Fritz, who's been actually pretty good on the clay over the last couple of weeks as well. So if they do play in the semi, that could be really fun. You got to watch out for Draper as well. Has proven to be pretty good on this surface. But also, I'd be watching out for Shapovalov. He can surprise, and he can be dangerous when he catches fire. So, Djokovic better be careful if he does play Shapo in that first couple of rounds. All right, bottom half of the draw, we've got number seven seed Marajan. He'll take on Shevchenko in the first round. Winner of that will take on either Brusovori or Giron in the second. Then you've got Karatev taking on Kaboli. Winner to play the number four seed Shelton in the second round. Then you've got the number five seed Baez taking on Nagel. Winner of that will take on either Altmaier or Baena in the second round. Then you've got Hitchikata taking on the qualifier. Winner of that will take on the number two seed Cass for Rude in the second round. So again, some big names, you know, Shelton and Rude, uh, Baez and Marajan, very, very capable of winning titles like this. Uh, maybe not Shelton, he's yet to prove himself really on the European clay, but again, super dangerous, which is really interesting that Djokovic decided to play this, but you gotta watch out for Rude, of course. You gotta watch out for Shelton. I'd be watching out for Baez as well. Did come good last week. Unfortunately, he did lose in the end in Rome, but is very capable of winning this kind of title, but he's very capable of winning this kind of title. And also Marajan, you know, we know he can play on the clay as well. So a really interesting draw in Geneva and some really interesting matches potentially for Djokovic as he goes forward. So there it is. That is the Geneva draw. Super stack. Before the French Open, we usually never talk about these kind of draws before the French Open. Usually these kind of events, especially Geneva, is a last minute attempt of getting form. But you got Djokovic who is kind of going there for that reason. You got Fritz and Rude who I guess need more tennis under their belt on the clay before going to the French. You know, Baez, Marajan, Draper, Shelton. It's stacked. It is a stacked event. And Djokovic Djokovic might not have an easy road to the final. He might actually have to do some work and beat some big names uh, to win this title if he does def you know, want to go on and win the whole thing. But let me know down in the comments below. Who's going to win this title? Is Djokovic going to play the whole thing? That's uh, probably a better question because I don't know if Djokovic, if he gets to the semis, is going to play up until the Saturday and then go play the French Open on Monday. I mean, is, is he really going to play the entire tournament? I don't know. I think he might just get a couple of matches and then maybe peace out. But there it is. Geneva absolutely stacked a week before the French.